Okay, so this is, what is this, 8-9, I think it is? Yeah. yeah. Um, 8-9. So it's talking about persevering and in, in problem solving. And this first one is an example. It's kind of funny, I actually did it with my other class, and a lot of them didn't realize they gave you the answer. But um, it's asking, it says, uh, Gwen here is planning uh, to tile the entire kitchen floor of the family room in the kitchen. So here's the... Here's the family room and here's the kitchen. She's going to tile these floors. And it says, what's the total cost of tiling the family room and the kitchen floors? So they're not talking about perimeter. They're talking about area. And so area, it's the, it's the entire floor. That's what she's tiling. Okay, that's what you'd have to figure out is the area. And so you guys should know by now area length times width okay so so over the family room uh, I'm having a hard time reading it looks like is that a 19 19 and one half oh it's a 13 and a half okay 13 and a half by 17 and a third and then um, this is going to be 10 and three quarters times 12 and so you guys should know how to how to do that by now. Next page. It says make sense and persevere. It says a website has a daily trivia contest. And it says on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you have one and a half hours to submit your answer. Then it says on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you have one and a quarter hours. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, you have three quarters of an hour to submit your answer. And the question they ask is, how many hours each week do you have to submit your answer? So I'm not worried about number one and number two. I want you to answer this question right here. How many hours each week do you have to submit an answer? So what are you going to be doing? You're going to be adding up all those portions of time. Next one. All right, it says, Isabella is buying framing to go around the perimeter. There's a clue right there. Perimeter of one of her paintings. So that means she's going to be going all the way around her painting here. And it says, each inch of the framing costs 40 cents. What's the total cost? This is the question you're answering. What's the total cost for framing the painting? Group two lays points. So you're going to be adding these up and the other two sides because you're figuring out the perimeter. I'm not worried about three, four, and five. Just answer that question. What's the total cost? Next page. As the Farina family spent a week at a state park, Christine hiked the Evergreen Trail twice and the Yellow River Trail once. Okay, so Christine hiked the Evergreen Trail twice and the Yellow River Trail once. Well, I suppose I could highlight the Evergreen and the Yellow River. And then it says Brian hiked... Um, Brian hiked each of the three longest trails once. Well, you're going to have to figure out which of the three longest trails, which, which three trails are the longest. They give you four, three of them are the longest. 
And that's what Brian hiked. And the question you have to answer is, how many more miles did Brian hike than Christine? That's the question you have to answer. I'm not worried about six, I'm not worried about seven, I'm not worried about eight. Nine does say to solve the problem. So you could do nine, that's essentially the same thing as the question above. And then you could do 10. 10 says explain why your answer makes sense. Now, the way to answer number 10 is just to tell me the steps that you did to solve this problem. Really, that's all you're doing. Just tell me the steps that you did to solve the problem. And that's what I want you guys uh, to work on for today. <laughs>